Hello everyone! I know the light, this is probably gonna bug people, but you know what? I need to get this, well I don't need to, but I really want to get this video filmed. It's an empties video if you haven't read the title yet, and I just, I've got trash and I want to throw it away. So, time to film. I work with natural daylight. I do not have professional lighting, so hopefully I don't have too many glares going on. I will try to combat that throughout the video as time goes on and as the sun moves on. So, these empties videos are always really long for me, so let's just dive right into it, shall we? <laughs> First things first, I like to get the boring stuff out of the way. I am pretty sure I have featured these wipes in every single empties video I've ever made. If you are new to my empties videos here, or you're new to my channel, whatever, I always do my best to link to past videos or reviews down below, so be sure to check that out if you want to hear more about these. In short though, these are the Aveeno Active Naturals Ultra Calming Makeup Removing Wipes. These are my absolute favorite makeup removing wipes. I use these before I go in with a cleanser at night just to get makeup off of my face just to get that whole process started. These are really great. They are gentle. They are that perfect combination of not too wet and not too dry. If you use makeup wipes, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. And they smell really great. It's like a nice mix between fresh, fruity, just niceness. So I love these, obviously. I've got two empty ones here. I always have empty ones in my empties videos. So rejoice. I love them a lot. Into the trash. <laughs> Now next up, <laughs> I'm kind of sad. And this might just be my imagination, but either way, these products, shabam, would usually go with those Aveeno wipes because I feel like ever since I started using these, I've always had these in my empties because ever since I started using these, I have always repurchased them and always used them. These are the L'Oreal Eva Creme Sulfate Free Moisture System Intense Nourishing Shampoo and Intense Nourishing Conditioner. I love these. They smell like delicious, rich, warm vanilla. Always did a really, really great job at just getting all the grease out of my hair and making it look shiny and healthy and whatever other words you want to associate with nice looking hair. Well, as you can see, these bottles are different and it's not just because one of them is a shampoo. Let me guess, that was the conditioner. Yep, of course. And you know, so one is a shampoo and one is a conditioner. They changed the packaging. And I feel like when they changed the packaging, they changed the formula. Now I could be wrong. This could just be like some sort of a placebo. It's all in my mind. Maybe I've been using these for too long so my hair has just gotten used to them so they don't work as well anymore. I don't have old bottles to check against the ingredients or whatever to see if they've changed. So I don't know. But these are the new bottles, by the way, these ones in the kind of chrome color here, as opposed to this one in the light gold. I think they're different. I really think they're different. <laughs> I just feel like it doesn't keep my hair as clean for as long. It still smells great, it still seems to work great right out of the shower and everything but I feel like my hair gets greasier quicker and it just feels like it's gotten to be a bit heavier of a formula. So I really don't know, but I really don't think that I can recommend these anymore. I'm just not sure, you guys. Next up here is another tried and true favorite of mine. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Triple Action Toner. Now I actually have been using a different toner and it works alright, but this one I think I like better. I'm talking about my Paula's Choice toner. I feel like that other toner from Paula's Choice is a little too oily for me and this one, I mean this one heavy duty will get rid of the oil on your face. It's a salicylic acid toner. When you put it on your little cotton round or whatever and you swipe it over your face, I love seeing the extra little bits of like brown, which is usually, you know, for my foundation that I didn't get. Usually, you know, like more up in my hairline or something, but either way, you can kind of see that there was still crap on your face, even after you cleansed and everything. I feel like with the Paula's Choice one that I'm using, I don't see that. But with this, I do. I felt like it really helped to keep my acne at bay, at, I mean a little bit. You put it on and if you have an active breakout or something, it's gonna sting. But I've always kind of liked that because it makes me think, you know, ooh, this stuff is working. <laughs> Either way, this is a really good toner. I really do like it. I just purchased another, like a different toner from Paula's Choice, so I'm gonna try that out. And if I don't like that one either, I'm definitely gonna be going back to this stuff because this, this stuff is tried and true for me. I really, really like it. Whew, you guys. It's 
getting hot in here. Next up here in my empties, I've got a tub of this utterly smooth body cream. Now, when I first talked about this long, long ago in a best and worst of beauty, I really don't remember how long. Oh my god, maybe almost a year ago. I've had this for a long time, you guys. <laughs> this stuff I got because my dad said he used it and he really liked it, and so he bought it for me while we were out on an excursion one day. Whenever I think of utterly smooth, I used to watch The Price is Right pretty much every single morning when I was, I don't know, like during summer vacation and stuff when I was little. I loved The Price is Right. Bob Barker, what's up? We were close. You didn't know it, but we were like this. I don't know. I think Utterly Smooth was like a sponsor of The Price is Right or something because, you know, it would be like one of the really big, great prizes. Like, you're gonna win a boat if you win this game. Oh, and plus, while you're on your boat, you can sit there and use your lifetime supply of Utterly Smooth body cream. And it's like, those don't go to get a sponsorship. It was like before YouTube happened, you know, where people like sneak in the products and they don't say that it's sponsored, but like clearly, okay. So it was kind of like the pre-YouTube sponsorship. Sneaky, Bob. I see what you were doing. Either way, this stuff was fine. I didn't love it. It wasn't my favorite. Am I gonna purchase it again? No. It's got a very not my favorite smell smell. <laughs> like, and I really don't know how to describe it. It's just like a very thick smell, if that makes sense. To me, it's like kind of an old person smell, but yeah, I don't know. It was body cream, it was fine, I used it, whatever, but I think I'm just gonna leave this for my dad. Not the empty thing, but you know, the brand as a whole. I personally am probably not gonna buy it ever again. Not that I ever bought it in the first place because my dad bought it for me, but uh, there you go. Worthless review number, what are we on, four? Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Next up, I have got a product that a viewer sent to me. Thank you so much. I believe this was in one of those like Sephora kits around the holiday and she said that she didn't want it, but she wanted the other things in the kit, so she bought the kit for herself and then sent this along to me. Either way, thank you so much for sending this my way. I ended up loving this dry shampoo like so, so much. This is the Detox Dry Shampoo from Dry Bar and oh my gosh, Oh my gosh. Really, really love this. It left a terrible white cast, like really bad. You had to be really diligent about scrubbing your scalp and everything afterward just to make sure that you really worked it in. I mean, if you have darker hair like me so that it didn't show up, but I really, really like this dry shampoo. Whenever I used it, it seriously made it look like I had just washed my hair. Fantastic. And for me, usually when I use dry shampoo, I've got my hair up that day. I also back comb it a little bit and it really helped to just hold that volume and just, mmm, this was good stuff. I highly recommend it. I'm pretty sure it's a little pricey, but I mean, dang, it really does the job. The smell wasn't anything phenomenal. It's kind of like a fresher baby powder kind of a scent, kind of very typical to a dry shampoo, but I got over it real quick because this made my hair look great even though it was second day hair. And yes, my hair gets greasy quicker than others. I do have greasy hair on the second day. I don't know why. I wish I could be one of those people that could go like five days without showering or washing my hair, but nope, it's every two days for me. Really unexciting, but I've got a bottle of nail polish remover. This is the Sally Hansen Strengthening for Weak Thin Nails nail polish remover. I mean, it was a nail polish remover. I think Sally Hansen makes great nail polish removers. I really hate Target's Up and Up brand, at least in terms of nail polish removers. I don't think they work well. I've tried many different kinds from them and I just don't like them. This one, however, it's not like you do one swipe and everything is off your nail, but I think I almost slapped myself. I'm sorry, Sally. I was giving you compliments. You shouldn't have been mad. No need to slap me. But either way, it was a good nail polish remover. I don't know that it strengthened my nails, but I mean, it didn't do anything bad. Next up here, I've got another product from a viewer. This is my Clean and Clear Advantage 3-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser with 5% Benzoyl Peroxide. Now, Clean and Clear, they still make this, but they changed the formula, and I was heartbroken when they did so because I love this face wash in the morning to just get all the gunk off my face before I put makeup on. <sighs> I loved it. It smells great, like a bar of soap, just nice and plain and simple. No acne medication smell, at least not to me. It was great. I loved it. And then they changed the formula. It was awful. There are a couple, a couple of viewers, so I'm not sure which bottle was from which viewer, but 
I will get through all of the bottles eventually and it will be a very sad day because then I will be out of the old version here. But either way, thank you both so, so much. I think in total five bottles of this were sent to like... <laughs> Homegirl's real happy. Like, so happy because I couldn't find any of the old formula at my local stores. So to have this, I just... I'm cherishing it. I'm cherishing each of these last bottles that I have. So thank you so, so much for sending these my way. I really love this face wash. I'm not going to talk too much about it here now, though, because you probably can't get it anymore. They changed the formula many, 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 many months ago. So there you go. There was that. I will cry later when my last bottle runs out. No tears for now, though. <laughs> Alright, so next up here I have got this product from Paula's Choice. This is the Clear Anti-Redness Exfoliating Solution with 2% salicylic acid and it is the Extra Strength Formula. I really, really like this stuff. I use this after a toner at night and oh, oh, it's just like that extra oomph. I've noticed. You know, it's not one of those products where you use it and you notice an immediate difference, but when you keep using it for many weeks, I think I've probably been using this for like a month now and you know, it's gone, maybe it's been a month and a half, I don't remember exactly, but either way, I've really noticed a difference in my skin clarity. I just feel like my pores look a lot cleaner because as far as I know, this is just one of those like liquid exfoliants. So it just helps to get like extra dry dead skin cells off your face and everything and just to get that extra bit of dirt and gunk out. And I really think it works. It doesn't sting, it doesn't hurt or anything when you put it on, but I do think it makes a noticeable difference in just making your skin kind of a more uniform color and texture and everything. I don't know. I just, I've really been liking this. I definitely already bought another bottle and have been using it. So really, really love this stuff. I'm so happy I found it. And also I found out that Paula's Choice has a referral program. So if you want to, you totally don't have to, but I will leave my referral link down below for you to use if you are new to Paula's Choice or whatever. I think the deal is that if you sign up through my referral link or anyone's referral link, you will get $10 off of your first purchase of $15 or more which that's a really good deal and then I also get 10 bucks in my Paula's Choice bank account points account whatever it is so either way 10 for you 10 for me I think that's a great deal if you are curious in trying out Paula's Choice products I wish I had known and I could have used someone's referral link when I first started getting Paula's Choice but either way now you guys know if you want to use the link you can if you don't want to I totally understand and you don't have to you can just go to paulaschoice.com or whatever it is it also works through Ebates so you can also get cash back that way and if you are new to Ebates I know I know lots of plugs but I like saving you guys money because I know I like saving money so why not share the like it just makes sense so if you are new to Ebates you've never used Ebates before you can go ahead and use my link down below and it will earn me cash back you will get cash back Ebates is a beautiful thing. It is not a gimmick. I've been using it for like two, three years now, and I've loved every minute of it. Again, if you don't want to use my referral link, totally fine. You can just type in ebates.com or whatever it is. Type Ebates into Google and you'll get there. So <laughs> plugs aside, I really, really love this stuff, and I think it's definitely worth checking out if you have the same kind of skin concerns as me, which is scarring and acne. So yay! <laughs> Next up here, I've got a pack of these Bosha Black Charcoal Blotting Linens. There was a hundred sheets in here, and oh my goodness, these lasted me a long time. I feel like I've been using these for years. I don't know how long I've actually had these in my purse, but these are great blotting sheets. I always pick up Bosha blotting sheets when they're on sale on Sephora on their website. I don't know that I've ever seen them on sale in store before, but definitely they go on sale on Sephora's website a lot for like five bucks for a pack of these, and oh my gosh, so worth it. Granted, I can't compare these to like ones you can get at the drugstore. I know cleaning clear makes them. I'm sure Neutrogena and stuff probably make them too. I'm not positive though, but either way these ones from Bosha are so good. They do such a good job at getting all of the oil off of your face but leaving your makeup where it was. Like when you look at the sheet after you blot your face, it's all just oil. There's no trace of makeup. You can't see anything. Like there's no trace of a blush, like nothing. And that's because it leaves your makeup alone, which is great. So absolutely worth it on sale. I'm sure it's worth it off sale too, but like why buy it when it's not on sale when you know it's going to go on sale eventually? These were really great. I really enjoyed them. So yay to Bosha. They're just a great skin brand in general.
Next up, I've got a little mini of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I'm pretty positive that this was from my mom. She passed it on to me because she didn't want it. I'm pretty positive that Hourglass a while ago changed the formula of their primer here and I don't like it as much anymore. I've tried multiple and by multiple I think like maybe two of the new version, this mini one and then also a full one of what I think is a different formula. It just feels very different to me. I did a blog post on the original formula way back when and like I said this could all be in my head maybe it's still the same but to me I feel like it has changed in the past couple years here. Originally it was just a bit thicker and it felt like it sank into your skin more rather than now I feel like it's a bit thinner, more liquidy, and it just kind of sits on top of your skin. So I don't know that I would recommend the Hourglass Primer anymore. I used to really really love this stuff but the new formula, or at least what I see as the new formula, the stuff you can purchase nowadays, I don't think it's as good as the old stuff and I would purchase other primers over this pretty much any day, so sad to say, but it just isn't worth the price to me anymore. Up next, this little sample. Oh my gosh, my heart. I wish I was rich so that I could buy this product and always have it. But for now, I've just got a little sample and this little sample is empty. And I might just have to keep going to Sephora and asking, can I please have a sample of that? Because homegirl can't afford it. But this is the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. Oh my gosh, guys, this is such a good eye cream. I don't know if like in the long run it would help your eyes look, you know, less aged or whatever. That's not my concern. My concern is that I just want it to feel good when I put it on, you know, and like hopefully there will be future benefits too. But for me, what I really love about this is that it was a thick cream, like a rich thick, not like a goopy thick, but like, ooh, you feel silky and expensive. And also it just felt so cooling and hydrating and delightful on my eye skin. No. <sighs> I really, really love this stuff. Like I said, if I could afford this, I would absolutely always use this, you know, holy grail, whatever. But it's very expensive, so I can't. But, like I said, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna go to Sephora and ask them for a sample every now and then. So, uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm exploiting you. If you can afford it, or hey, if you're like me and you don't mind going to Sephora and asking for like 18 samples every time you go in, and by 18, I usually ask for like one or two. If you don't mind that lifestyle, I highly recommend you go get a sample because it is really, really nice. <laughs> I've got this little tin of lip balm. This is from Soap and Glory and it is the A Great Kisser Lip Moisture Balm. This stuff was peach heaven. I'm almost tempted to just like keep this little tin just so I can sniff it every now and then. It smells so good. It's not one of those artificial peach scents like a lot of products are. I mean, maybe like a smidgen, maybe like 5% artificial. But for the most part, this stuff just, it smells like you are picking up the most ripe peaches and just rubbing your face in them, in the skins, in the fuzz, and just... You're blissed out. You're ready to go. Your day has been fulfilled and worth living. You know what I mean? This stuff is just so nice. I, I loved it. I loved it. It is thick. It is nice to have on your lips. It smells great. I use this at night when I go to sleep. I like to use a lip balm that like sinks in and then I also like to put on a thick lip balm that doesn't ever sink in just to like suction all the moisture or whatever in. I mean people always ask me how I get my lips to look so smooth. I'm assuming that has to do with it. I do that every single night before I go to bed. This is what I was using as my top coat, as my moisture seal, and it worked great. So I really, really love this stuff. You can get it at Sephora and I'm sure other places, but um, this was a nice little tin. Thank you, mom, for getting this for me for Christmas uh, two years ago now. <laughs> hey, at least I used it and I loved it, so thank you. <laughs> Next up here, I know this product looks a little gross, but uh, it was just well loved. Alright, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. I had mine in the shade number 8, Warm Light Medium. This is a great concealer. I feel like I've said it many, many times, but Estee Lauder does great face products. Ooh, this is old. Um, really, it's 
very old but um it lasts a long time because a little goes a long way this concealer really does stay in place you put it on and it's not going anywhere and i loved that about it i personally didn't like it for under my eyes because it did crease quite a bit on me but for spots or scars whatever that i wanted to conceal it worked really really great so highly recommend this stuff estee lauder does a great job with foundations and skincare and that sort of a thing so this falls right into that they did a great job with this concealer, so highly recommend it if you're looking for a new one to try out. All right, you guys, just a few more products here. We're getting down to it. First up, well, first up of these last products, I've got this Chapstick Hydration Lock. It's one of the dual ones, Renew and Moisturize. You guys, it was fine. I got sent this with some other chapsticks that they had just come out with a while ago, maybe like a year ago now, maybe not quite. But either way, I tried it. It was fine. I'm never gonna purchase it because it really was not anything revolutionary, but this one anyways, the one with the blue caps on each end, it didn't have any sort of a scent or a taste, I didn't think. I just personally didn't really like the texture of either of them. The one on the moisturized side was a bit thicker and kind of chunky, and then the one on the Renew side was a bit oily and I felt like it was gone within like 15 minutes. Neither of them were very long lasting. Neither of them really kept my lips hydrated or looking any better than they did without it. And so, yeah, overall it was fine. I got through it, but am I gonna put, no. Would I recommend it? No. <laughs> there are much better lip balms on the market, I think. Than this one. A lip balm that I think was much much better here. Oh, this is the MBA Cosmetics Shea and Mango Lip Butter in the scent Red Velvet Cake. I got this when I went to IMATS this past year in April, right? It was April. We we, meaning Jen and her husband John from Jen Loves Reviews and Fun Time with John, they wanted to stop at the MBA Cosmetics booth. I said, of course, let's go. I had never heard of, really, or tried any of their products. John is a fellow lip balm addict, I found out. And he bought a couple of these and I smelt them and I said, you know, I'm gonna need to hop on that bandwagon too. I think they're like three bucks or something. I'll put it on the screen what they actually are, but they're cheap. And oh my gosh, I'm pretty sure they're also cruelty free. It smells so good. This one just smells like chocolate cake straight up, like cocoa powder or something. Delicious, like everything I wanna rub on my lips always. Like definitely that kid in the Matilda movie, Bruce, wasn't that his name, gets to eat the chocolate cake. I, he looks like he hates his life for a bit. I would enjoy every second of that. And I say that now, I've never eaten a cake that big, especially not like a quadruple chocolate cake that big. Huh. But in my mind, I would enjoy every second of that. Either way, we're talking about the lip balm here. It works great. I felt like it was really good at keeping my lips nice and moisturized. I felt like this lasted a good two or three hours. This one I just kind of would have on if I'm ever like around the house, whatever, bumming around. And I really, really liked it. Every now and then, it would be a little gritty. It was weird. Like, for the most part, for the most of this thing, it was like smooth and nice and delicious on the lips. But every now and then I would put it on and it would be like gritty, like there were sugar granules almost in it. But then I would go to put it on the next time and those would be gone. So I don't know what that was all about, but that did happen like maybe three times or so as I was going through this stick. I don't know what that was about. I mean, it was fine. I just got over it, but <laughs> overall I really really like these lip balms. I'm using another one right now and it is also just as delightful as this one, but it smells even better. I think it's like the butter pecan or something, but either way, delicious lip balms. I'm really glad I tried them out. Shabang! We've got the Coralie Vino Source Creme SOS morning eye rescue. This was supposed to be an eye cream and I didn't think it was any better than anything else I've ever tried and I know this stuff is expensive. It was kind of a watery consistency and yeah it felt like it was hydrating but it's not my kind of eye cream. I like a thicker eye cream. I didn't feel like this felt as hydrating as other eye creams that I've tried out. So it was just kind of eh for me but uh you know I used it up and it was fine but I'm never gonna be purchasing this so meh. <laughs> Last up here, I've got this little sample of the UB. This is a moisturizing skin cream. It's a Japanese brand, and oh my goodness, this stuff is stanky. Not just stinky, stanky. Whew! But this stuff works so well on dehydrated, chapped, 
skin. There was a time this summer where my knees were like really dry and disgusting looking. I used this on them. Poof. I mean it wasn't poof but like after a few uses my knees looked so much better. This stuff just ugh, it's almost like a Vaseline. It smells kind of similar too. Thankfully the stankiness of it after about three to five minutes maybe the smell is completely gone so like you just deal with that for that you know three digits of seconds that you have to deal with it and then it's gone and you're just left with a really soft nice skin so if you get really chapped skin like I know some people's knuckles and stuff get really dry or like elbows knees whatever this stuff works real good so Yay! That was my first empties after being back home here in Minnesota. I hope you all enjoyed. I am so excited to throw all this crap out. My box was getting way too full for me to deal with. Hope you got some good product reviews out of it. And yeah, as always, I just hope you guys are doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!